forecast from WJZ's First Winning Weather team. He is known as the best third baseman to ever play the game. Brooks Robinson elevated the Orioles during his time in uniform, and now, as Mike Shue reports, his friends and fans are elevating him to a permanent perch across from the ballpark. Just look at who we immortalize here in this town. At the stadium, Johnny Unitas. At the harbor, William Donald Schaefer. At the yard, Babe Ruth. And along Charles Street, Pope John Paul. Now, the fifth statue. MVP, Golden Glove, multiple all-star, Brooks Robinson. Brooks will be on top of the base. Brooks is nine feet tall. And he will be fielding a ground ball and looking to throw it, and he'll be throwing it in the direction of the ballpark. A 1,500-pound likeness of the man, nicknamed the Hoover, for his ability to scoop up ground balls. This likeness made by the Baltimore artist who created the Pope statue downtown. Brooks will stand not at Oriole Park, but across the street on city land, a major gateway to Baltimore. So that as people come into the city, and a lot of people do come this way, they're welcomed by Brooks. Brooks greets them, and it, it really establishes uh, his status as an iconic Baltimore citizen. Right now, the base is poured and the granite is being installed. Here's a neat trick. Take a picture of the barcodes to be installed here, and your phone will give you more info about Brooks. Because here's the deal. A hundred years from now, when people won't know as much about Brooks as we do, this way, hopefully, they'll be able to get that information. The statue has already been cast. It will arrive in September and be unveiled in October. Across from Camden Yards, Mike Shue, WJZ Eyewitness News, back to you on TV Hill. And most of the $400,000 cost to put up the Brooks statue is coming from the heir to Crown Petroleum, Henry Rosenberg, Jr. Well, still to come on WJZ's Eyewitness News.